Ukrainian women should prepare for conscription. Top Kiev official. The Ukrainian government must get rid of the old school mentality and implement true equality in the armed forces, Kiev's chief military advisor for gender issues, Oksana Grigorieva, has claimed. Kiev is currently in the process of overhauling its military service system, with Ukrainian lawmakers debating increasingly harsh proposals to amend the country's mobilization laws to lower the draft age and penalize draft dodgers. While it has been said that the changes to legislation do not foresee the conscription of women, such proposals have been previously voiced. Our constitution states that it is the duty of every Ukrainian to protect their homeland, so it is only right that women serve too. Grigor ever told the Times. Russia isn't simply going to disappear, she argued. So, like Israel, we have to be prepared for this and that means training up both men and women to be ready for war. Ukraine's armed forces continue to experience dire personnel shortages on the battlefield, as has been admitted by a number of top Ukrainian military officers and commanders, including Land Forces Commander Alexander Pavlyuk, who warned that no one can sit out mobilization. More than 45,000 women currently serve in the Ukrainian armed forces, the country's Ministry of Defense said last month. Last year, all Ukrainian women who have a medical or pharmaceutical education were obliged to register with the military. In January, the Defense Ministry purchased 50,000 sets of women's uniforms for the first time since the start of the conflict. In order to encourage more female recruits to join the army voluntarily, changes in old school mentality should be introduced from a young age. Grigorieva argued, that has to change. Both physically and psychologically, we need to prepare girls from a young age to protect the country, she claimed. U.S. Senate leader, Ukraine runs out of more soldiers' ammunition because of lack of American funding. Ukraine is failing on the battlefield because of a lack of American funding, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said. He demanded the House Republicans pass the $61 billion aid bill as soon as possible. Schumer, a New York Democrat, brought up Ukraine in a speech about the upcoming U.S. legislative agenda. The Democratic Majority Senate passed the funding proposal in mid-February, but the Republican Majority House has not voted on it yet. The situation in Ukraine is desperate, Schumer said, claiming that the funding bill has been collecting dust for 55 days while our friends in Ukraine fight and die on the battlefield with no support. With each passing day, Ukraine is running out of more soldiers, ammunition and hope. He added, let's be blunt, the biggest reason Ukraine is losing the war is because the hard right in the Congress has paralyzed the US from acting. That's it. That's the reason, Schumer said. By passing the bill, House Speaker Mike Johnson would do the right thing for Ukraine, for America and for democracy, the New York Democrat argued. Otherwise, he claimed the Republicans would hand a large victory to Russian President Vladimir Putin. Schumer made much the same argument while visiting Ukraine in late February, claiming that if Kiev gets the money, they will win the war and beat Russia. Democrats have sought to split the GOP into moderates and MAGA Republicans. Referring to former U.S. President Donald Trump's campaign slogan, Make America Great Again, to get support for their legislative agenda in both chambers of Congress. The tactic has paid off in the Senate, where 22 Republicans voted in favor of funding Ukraine, more than offsetting three Democrats who were opposed. Russian instructor speaks about new problem for Russians, complains about heavy losses. Russian military instructor Sviatoslav Golikov has accused the Russian command of criminal negligence and incompetence during attack organizations. He was especially outraged by the video of another failed meat assault of Russian troops near the village of Berdichi, near Avdiivka, which led to heavy losses among the occupants, writes Oboz Revitel, media outlet. The media outlet published the corresponding message on his Telegram channel. The Russian complained about the command of the Russian troops who sent the BMP-2 together with the paratroopers into the zone of direct hit with small arms, moreover unexpectedly for them. Another clear illustration of criminal incompetence or criminal negligence is organizing the attack, the Russian commented. According to Charter 97 media outlet, thus the video of the 47 separate mechanized brigade shows how the Kafirs BMP-2s together with the paratroopers broke into the village. However, 
Ukrainian soldiers from the company of attack UAVs stopped the enemy vehicles with the help of FPV drone, eliminating four invaders at once. At the same time, the infantry of the 26th Separate Rifle Battalion of the 47th SM Brigade got an advantage and destroyed the rest of the occupants. The vehicle with the paratroopers bluntly entered the zone of direct hit by small arms and unexpectedly for themselves, but not for the enemy. And there was not even a Bradley there. They were simply killed by the shooter. In general, a typical example of incident elevated to a routine practice. The classic of the genre of setting a combat task in the style of go there, there is no one there, or go there, they will meet you there, which we all love. And whoever are not there, they do not meet you there. The Russian military instructor writes.